So in the last video, we proved that the expected value of u hat primed times u hat, given that we have x, is exactly equivalent to the expectation of the trace of u hat times u hat primed, given that we have x. In this video, we're going to operate on this right-hand expression a little bit and in order to do that, we first need to come up with our sort of way of actually getting our residual vector. So our residual vector, u hat, is just defined as the difference between y and our estimated y, which I'm going to write as y hat, which is equal to y minus x times beta hat, because beta hat times x is just our predicted value of y. And furthermore, if we substitute in the explicit form for beta hat here, we're going to have that this is equal to y minus x times, open brackets, x primed times x, all to the power minus 1 times x prime times y, which then we can write as open brackets i minus, this whole second sort of expression before the y is just px, our orthogonal projection matrix, all times y. And if you remember from our videos on the geometric di discussion of least squares, this term in the parenthesis here is really the orthogonal projection matrix to the column space, which is orthogonal to that of the columns of X. And from now on, I'm actually going to refer to this matrix as MX. So this is just equal to MX times Y. And since we have an expression now for our U hat, we can go ahead and actually come up with an expression for u hat times u hat primed. So u hat times u hat primed is just equal to, well, mx times y times, and then we're, if we're taking the transpose of this thing, so then we're transposing everything on the right hand side here. When you take the transpose of a product, it is the same thing as the individual transposes uh, in reverse order, then multiplied. So it's actually y primed times mx primed. So then we have that this is equal to y primed times mx primed. And in the next video, we're going to use this expression a little bit further, and we're going to be getting a bit, bit closer to actually coming up with an estimator for sigma squared.